you cut it down down the center where the pith is because the, the pith is where the tree started to grow and there'd be a little hole there. A lot of times there's a hole there and right. you don't want that hole there. Right. So the only way to get it is to make your bowl so that you eliminate it by cutting down through the center. So you're going to start off with that and it's going to end up looking like one of those bowls on that table. When we're done, it's, it's going to look something like something like this, not quite that big. It'll probably look more like you know, about this size maybe. Wow. You know? When we're done, we're going to have something about like that. Cool. Awesome. That size. Okay. I got, I got scads of these. There's more. Just in case you didn't want them, I wow, got more. You got a bunch. <laughs> yeah. but, but once again, probably right. half of these I bought at yard sales. Right. I go to some yard sale, a guy would have two or three, and what do you want for them? Five bucks? Okay, I'll sure. take all three of them. Right. Because this is a $90 tool. Oh, yeah. Wow. This is an $80 tool. Here. These, tool, these two tools are basically the same thing. And I've used that one and ground it down till it's at, but that's that's about 15 wow. years of use to get that's to there, crazy. like this. And so when you're cutting, you know your your right. your forces and torque are all out here, obviously. But that's why you've got a big lever here and a short one there because you don't want to just shove this in here, but you do have to contact the wood. And when you do, there's going to be some friction and gripping. So you got to hang on to this end pretty tight. You don't want the tool to get away from. You. And I, and I expect it to cut on this edge here. I'm going to cut it on this 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 edge, not this one. Sure. And I'm just going to come in until it till I make contact with it. You can just kind of come across and see because sometimes it's, it's rough. It's almost round. It's still got a little flat spot on it. Let's see, we've pretty well got it rounded. Yeah. See, there's bark. This bark section here. I need to bring this down, mm -hmm. cut it down to about in here, maybe. Right. So that's another thing with a bowl. You don't know exactly what you're going to get with a piece like this because you just have to get rid of the bark and cracks or anything else that's in there. You know. So. I've start, sometimes started making a bowl this big and it ended up being this big. I don't use one. I'm well, it's got a few lines in it, but it isn't bad. I think I'll use it. This one about about here. Just guess at this. But I'm going to take this and push in and make a groove. Yeah. And see, I can come in and rub it right in that groove. Oh, yeah. That way, it won't skip on me. Otherwise, it might go and skip someplace. Right. This way, see, I can come in and go like this, push it in. And go but I can also bring it out this way. Go slow. Hear the vibration? Yeah. Okay. I'm coming back in the middle and doing it. Got some spots here that need to come out. 